Hi guys, this is Adarsh Tech World. We are going to review the Realme XT. I have it right here and the box. So let's begin. Yeah. So here we have this is the Realme XT. Now we are uh, not getting into the device. We are getting into the box. So here we have this is the box. So I have already opened this. So. So inside this you have our case quick quick start guide etc and then we have the cable it's very thick because it looks flash charging so that's all for the box corner you also get this sim injector too very small amount of box corners so now let's get into the phone so here we have this is the realme xt have the screen of clock enabled you can see the stats here so if i press here so here we have this is the back of the realme xt this is actually plastic yeah this is plastic but the finish is very pretty good you can see that it changes with light this is the pearl blue color of this device and you can see the quad camera setup it is quite a lot of bump there's a lot of camera bump and we have the flash and the the ai ai camera and then here on the edge we have our golden power button and this is actually this actually metal around the around here this is actually metal and here we have volume rockers right here and we have the speaker here we have the usb c port and we have headphone jack so that's uh, and we have the 6.4 inch uh, see dew drop full screen display with super amoled and it also has a in display fingerprint scan so now let's get in more deeper the, this realme xt has a qualcomm snapdragon 712 aie it all it is a octa core cpu that runs on 10 nanometer process it has 2 point up to 2.3 gigahertz clock speed it has yeah so it's very powerful it's actually 10 percent faster than the, the snapdragon 710 processor so it has it is it is pretty fast and snappy as you can see right there so uh, now we are getting into uh, it also has a uh, 4000 mAh battery with Wook flash charging which we will get into later and it also has bluetooth 5.0 has dolby atmos and and also it has it has 4 4 gb ram 6 gb ram and 8 gb ram variants it also has it has a ufs 2.1 storage which can be 64 or 128 GB as per the variant and it also has 256 GB of external memory we, uh, the variant we have here is the 4 GB RAM and 64 GB variant so it's the low end variant we have here and we are looking at this screen this is the 6.4 inch super AMOLED screen with up to 91% screen to body ratio which is awesome and it has a 1080p resolution which is 4 uh, and it has 402 pp ppi it has a gorilla glass 5 here even though we have the screen protector applied and it has night mode and then now we will get into the camera here's the camera we have a 64 mp sensor here we have the wide angle sensor we have the portrait lens and we have the have the macro lens the the main lens is a 64 mp sensor by samsung it is actually it is actually isocell g gw1 sensor which means it can shoot in 64 mp or 16 mp with the help of pixel binning it has 1.8 f 1.8 aperture and has a 1 by 172 sensor size and the 8 mp wide angle lens has a 2.2 f 2.2 aperture with 120 degree 
angle uh, field of angle and then it has it supports nightscape mode and the portrait lens and macro lens are for uh, macro lenses for close up shots and portrait lenses for portrait shots actually so now we are going to see we are going to see the some camera samples okay and we also have these many modes ultra 64 mp mode have the nightscape mode panorama mode expert mode and time lapse mode many modes are there have a portrait mode have photo mode have a video mode so i have take took a photo here this is in the 60 16 mp mode so let's go and do 64 mp mode so have to get 64 mp photo here's the 16 mp photo right here these both don't have that much difference actually both look pretty awesome so now let's get into we are taking in the macro mode you can see so here's that you can see this these text right here very sharp so that's the macro mode i will take a portrait mode photo take some time load you can see the blood in blood here so we will take one more is that one not yeah. okay so we want to okay and take it now yeah you can see that uh the portrait mode photos are amazing they look very natural and you see it supports video up to it supports video up to 4k 6 30 fps and 1080p in 30 fps and 60 fps also 720p in 30 fps and 60 fps it also has slow motion also has slow motion and electric image stabilization for both front and rear cameras So now I'm going to take a selfie. Yeah. Charging of the device, it actually char charges in 20 watts, so it is very fast. So let's see it. So see that it's saying book flash charge. You can see it's it's charging very fastly. And I say it became 33%. So now we are going to see the normal charges. Okay, so here we have this is this is a normal photo actually, and then okay, and then this is the ultra wide photo. As you can see, the difference it makes it covers in a lot more area. As you can see, it sees the box. The box is actually hidden here, and here is not. So it covers a lot more area. This is actually 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, so it's pretty good. You can also shoot in nightscape mode. Also, so we are going to take a nightscape photo. So it takes some time. Take an ultra wide one. So I'll show you now. Okay. So this, as you can see, this is the ultra. This is the nightscape. 
picture is the ultra wide nice scale picture so i'll take a normal one so this is a normal picture this is a night nice scale picture you can see that it's very bright you can see the text and you can take ultra wide night nice scale one also so night nice scale mode is actually very good this was the realme xt guys i love this phone this is a uh, i think this is the best phone around in the 16000 range until now there are going to be new phones afterwards but until now you if you want a phone that is for 16000 and you want 64 mp photos and everything this is the this is the phone for you guys so i am going so i am going to wind up this video right here so before that you hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe